Join the crew of the Mayatla as we visit the Galapagos Islands. These unique isolated islands have given birth to amazing creatures, birds and plants that you will find nowhere else on the planet. And inspired a young Charles Darwin who created a theory of evolution and we would never see the world the same again. It. We got to San Cristobal a day before Jan and Terry joined us. It seemed like a lifetime ago that we had left Marina Chiapas from Mexico and arrived here. We had a great anchorage and we had already made friends. The boat next to us belonged to Eric, a retired professor from France. There's Eric with his around Cape Horn boat. Hola. Hola. We chose not to launch the dinghy, but rather take the water taxis because for a dollar a ride, you couldn't beat it. Plus, the outboard had been giving us problems from before. We had sailed over a thousand miles and uh, cleaning the boat wasn't a priority, but now it was time to scrub up before we could play. It's a big clean up day. Yes, it is, because we made a big mess. It's because why? Of messiness. 11 days of messiness. Uh oh. Just a short walk away was this gorgeous beach called Playa Man. This beach is all mine. I can't believe how uncrowded it is around here. It's not what I expected. The warm water made it perfect for swimming. The snorkeling wasn't too bad, but the real attraction was a couple of friendly sea lions. I just had an amazing swim with the sea lions. Oh, they're so sweet. A little big though, so a little scary. And uh, I'm on my private little beach. And I spot a couple of marina guana, so let's go check those out. Does he know that I am watching him? Here comes a black crab. I almost don't see any, then all of a sudden you realize they're everywhere. This guy up there, it's like he owns the joint. Oh, wait a minute, he does. This is his place. So I've been sitting here for a couple hours and uh, only three people have come into the water. So I pretty much have this beach to myself, except for these, uh, a couple of noisy sea lions. <laughs> They're friendly too, I might add. He missed it, but he just came over and sniffed my bag. He's gonna lie right down next to me. We're gonna have a little suntan. As the afternoon wore on, more people came, and I realized this was the local beach. But in the Galapagos, you have to be careful, because things aren't always as they seem. This is the uh, poison apple tree. It's one of the species that the uh, giant tortoise feed in the barren zones. Um, the poison apple tree not only contains a sap that when touched will burn the skin, but also has fruits and winter apples that are very poisonous, so you don't want to be biting that apple. With just a 10 minute walk from the wharf, he came back to Playa Man over and over again. They're nice pairs just down there. The visibility was not always the best, but there was always something to see. Later in the day, the air would fill with a delicious smell as vendors set up small barbecues across from the beach and throughout the streets.
way, have you seen anybody get that excited over some meat on a stick? Well, that's how I feel about ice cream. Especially delicious? when you've been at sea for a while. The Galapagos sea lion are the ambassadors of the Galapagos. They are friendly, inquisitive, and you will find them absolutely everywhere. Puerto Bacarizo Moreno is the capital of the Galapagos Islands. It's hard to believe that because it is really laid back, much more so than the other island of Santa Cruz. Along the waterway, you'll find all kinds of stores, cafes, restaurants, and uh, just people watching. The Galapagos Islands' most famous person, of course, is Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin was just a young man when he came here on the Beagle, and he formed later a theory of evolution that would change the way we saw this world. Would the Galapagos do the same for me, I wondered? Would they change the way I saw the world? The musings would have to wait because it was time to party. It is the day before Christmas Eve and there's Jan and Andy. We were all together to celebrate Christmas in the Galapagos. He missed you so much. And he missed you so much. He did. Aww. He did. And here we are. We're going to celebrate Christmas in the Galapagos. It was a Christmas Eve I will never forget. When I got down to the wharf, I found out that the water taxis don't run on holidays. And in the spirit of Christmas, a group of strangers delivered us to our boat in a private tender. It's Christmas Day and I can't think of a better thing to do than to visit a church. The Cathedral of Immaculate Conception in San Cristobal is not like any other church you'll ever see. It's a bright modern space that pays homage to the animals of these islands. I caught up with the rest of the guys where they were staying at the Hostel Danelli. Nick and I were staying on the boat. It's a tough life, eh, Mark? Yeah. We were already used to the heat. Don't want to wake you up in your little siesta there. Jen and Terry had just got there and needed time to get used to it before moving back on the boat. Where's Nick? He was there one minute and then boom, he's gone. It was Christmas Day and we were going for our big Plus dinner. Five years. What's the name of this restaurant? Rosita. Rosita. Rosita is our favorite place. But there would be no turkey on our plate tonight. What is that? you got chicken, uh, and you've got shrimp, and mushrooms, mushrooms yeah, and, and you've got a bechamel sauce. Oh, very nice. In our next video, we explore St. Cristobal, visit a volcano, get our feet wet at a beautiful beach, and meet the Galapagos that this islands are named for. Thanks for watching! Please leave us a comment down below, subscribe, or give us a thumbs up.